I'm convinced that the issue of overfishing is one of the most serious problems that we are facing as a global community presently. We as a rich part of the world is actually purchasing illegally fished fish that is taken from poor countries that, I mean, I can hardly find anything that I feel is as important as this. Eighty percent of life on Earth lives within our seas and oceans. Yet tragically, three quarters of the world's fish stocks are defined by the UN as fully exploited, overexploited, or depleted due to overfishing. Many of our marine and coastal ecosystems are dangerously close to collapse. Illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing or pirate fishing is one of the greatest threats to these already vulnerable marine environments and the people who rely on them. It is a global problem taking place on an industrial scale. In financial terms, global losses from pirate fishing are estimated to be between 10 and $23.5 billion a year. That's one-fifth of the value of the entire global catch. I don't know if you can understand, we are talking about an industry with 10 billion, 10 billion uh, euros a year. This is a huge amount. Eh? We are talking about um, the EU importing uh, almost 16% of, their, of uh, our imports from illegal fisheries. So we have to change the situation. Pirate fishing vessels are undermining legitimate fishing operators and stealing from the millions of poor and vulnerable people who rely on the ocean for food security and income. Like other criminals, they employ a variety of methods to avoid detection and steal with impunity. Pirate fishers regularly change vessel names, obscure identification markings, bribe enforcement officials, refuse to pay fines and attack locals. Some are involved in other illegal activities, such as drug smuggling, gun running and human trafficking. The use of flags of convenience, whereby vessels buy flags from states which are unable or unwilling to monitor their activities, is another strategy employed by pirate fishing vessels to avoid scrutiny. This practice facilitates the exploitation of vulnerable workers to minimize costs and maximize profits. As a result, violence, abuse and bonded labor are all too common. Pirate fishers rely on a lack of monitoring and enforcement in places like West Africa, where stealing fish is highly lucrative and relatively easy. The vessels often target inshore exclusion zones, or IEZs, areas that were established to protect shallow coastal waters where fish reproduce. Artisanal fishing communities rely heavily on these protected zones for food and income. They are being devastated by pirate fishing. The impact of IEU fishing on West African fishing com communities is, is vast. I mean, we have uh, people that are depending on fisheries for their livelihoods and at the same time you have uh, all these foreign boats that come into the EEZs of these countries and, and emptying the seas of, of their food. So of course it's very, very serious what's going on. Often using illegal and destructive fishing gear, pirate vessels target high-value species generating huge amounts of unwanted bycatch, which is thrown back into the sea, dead or dying. Many artisanal fishermen and their families rely on fish as their only source of animal protein. Right now, coastal communities across West Africa are reporting dramatic declines in the size and quantity of fish being caught. As a result, fishers spend longer at sea for fewer, smaller fish. Illegally caught fish is entering the EU market and ending up on the plates of consumers throughout Europe. Progress has been made through the implementation of the EU IUU regulation, a dynamic and groundbreaking piece of legislation that allows fish to be seized in EU ports, flag states to be encouraged to improve their monitoring and control, and coastal states to be engaged in protecting their marine resources. Despite the early successes of the regulation, 
more work is needed to ensure the law is applied proactively and uniformly, and that illegal fish is stopped from entering the EU while safeguarding legitimate operators. 70% of all fish that is consumed inside the European Union now is being fished elsewhere. And that is, of course, the result of uh, our overfishing of our own waters. But now we're turning to fish from other parts of the world, and some of it comes from, a lot comes from developing countries, and some of it also comes from uh, illegal sources. And I think that the European Union has the capacity, we're a rich region of the world, we have the major responsibility, I think, in addressing IAU fishing internationally. If we don't do it, who should do it? EJF is calling on the world's major seafood markets to say no to illegally caught fish, for flag states to better control their distant water fishing fleets, and for the development of a global record of fishing vessels, requiring each boat to have a unique vessel identifier. We must have full traceability, full identification, a global record, and this would increased traceability to the extent that we could stop IUU fishing. It's time to take action to end illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing. To protect the fragile marine habitats and biodiversity that are vital to so many communities and which underpin the sustainability of our global fishing industry.